Okay, now let's move on to another very basic thing that most of us would usually fail to study. Okay, now let's use our mindset. What about tracheostomy should I study for the NCLEX? Okay, what about tracheostomy? Okay, pay particular attention to the procedure of suctioning. Okay, okay, so let's move on. What are the things that you should know? Let's try answering a simple question. Ostomy suctioning are true. Okay. Okay. One, suctioning may cause hypoxia if done beyond 10 seconds. Yeah, oh, sorry. Before we answer these questions, okay, sorry, we need to have functional concepts, okay? Like helpful hints for tracheostomy care, take note of the cuff pressure, it should be below 25 to prevent necrosis in the mucosal lining where the cuff is located. Pressure setting for tracheostomy should be between 80 to 120. Suction catheters can be used for 24 hours. Tie changes require two competent persons. Always remember to first insert the new tie before removing the old tie to prevent dislodge. Tube changes should be done before meals or at least an hour after meals to minimize aspiration. Okay, next, hyperoxygenate the patient with 100% oxygen. Don't forget this, before and after suctioning. And the suction catheter is advanced to a maximum of, don't forget this, six inches or until the carina or bifurcation of the bronchial tree. Okay, and that's approximately 10 to 15 cm or until resistance is felt. Apply suction for a maximum of 10 seconds. Some literature would say 10 to 15 seconds as catheter is being withdrawn and you have to apply this intermittently as you withdraw the catheter. And then use distilled water and in between suctioning, allow the patient to rest for 20 to 30 seconds. Now, let's try to answer the question. Suctioning may cause hypoxia if done beyond 10 seconds. Yes. Pressure setting for tracheostomy suctioning should be 80 to 120. Yes. The suction tube length is inserted, should be five to six inches. Yes. Okay. Suction is applied upon insertion. No. Applied upon withdrawal. Then suctioning is done based on the patient's condition. Yes. Deflate the cuff of the tracheostomy before suctioning. You don't do that. This sludge may occur. Okay. So let's have our what if moment. So tracheostomy suctioning is very basic. So what if something else is asked on the test? So what's our what if moment? Here's our what if moment. Sometimes you will have to go a notch higher, okay? When you study the basic concepts, go a notch higher from the basics. Here's an example. Let's talk about fenestrated tracheostomy. Don't forget this. Fenestrated tracheostomy has one or more hole in the outer cannula. What is the purpose of the additional hole? My butas, to promote normal breathing and speaking as well as coughing. So normal breathing, speaking, and coughing, okay? So a fenestrated tracheostomy may be used as a step before the removal of the tracheostomy tube. So it's used for rehabilitating the patient in terms of speaking or coughing. A tracheostomy kit is to accompany the patient at all times and must be checked each shift by the nurse caring for the patient. So what should you keep at the patient's bedside? An extra tracheostomy kit. Why? If the patient's tracheostomy gets dislodged, you have to have an extra kit to immediately insert. Otherwise, there's going to be a problem on the patient's airway and breathing, okay? So what about if the tracheostomy kit is not clean? The problem of infection is just secondary to airway. Even if a perceived complication would be a complication for as long as you maintain patency of the airway, that's all right. Because even if you're talking about... or thinking about infection, so you did not actually um, insert the tracheostomy kit um, as early as you can. So what happened was eventually the patient died. So it's better to have infection, but the patient's able to breathe rather than preventing infection. And then the client is unable to breathe because the tracheostomy got dislodged, okay? So test taking key, always ask what if. We've been doing that since session one, right? Always ask what if, what if, what if? Okay, there's the disclaimer. 